so we're just leaving the caravan and motorhome site at um, Edinburgh. Not actually sure whether we took you around to show you the toilets and everything, but if you've ever been on a caravan and motorhome site, they're all basically the same, and um, this one was exactly the same standard as all the others. So um, if I've shown you a caravan and motorhome club site on the previous vlogs, then the showers and toilets would have been exactly the same and all the facilities are in one area like your toilet waste, your grey waste and everything else. Good morning, my name's Angela and this is Wayne. And we are Adventures with Angela and Wayne, A-W-A-W. -E so, today we're on day 18. So if you haven't seen any of the other three videos, go back and have a look. We've travelled through Cumbria, doing the North Coast 500,
here. <laughs> Just drove down from Edinburgh to a pub called Town Tan Hill Inn. It's in the Yorkshire Dales, so uh journey was about three and a half hours that's about three hours just over on the motorway mainly didn't video much of that pretty boring stuff on the motorway obviously the scenery was okay uh and, and it's really cloudy and overcast today however angela just got some video of us uh driving through the country lanes through the yorkshire dells through the national park um it's abs absolutely unbelievable um up and down oh angela's telling me where to go look oh we can park in there Ooh. okay it's hands hill in the highest pub in the british isles it's at 1332 feet we are parked just here I'll show you, show you our view actually. It's a shame it's cloudy, of course it is. You can't expect anything else though. Look at the views. And we've got mates that have joined us. I don't know how friendly they are. But they've come up to munch the grass. Let's see if we can say hello. He's decided to have a little munch of that camper van over there. Lovely. Let's have a look up here behind the pub. So, uh, yeah, I bet you can see for miles. I mean, the, the view's lovely now. If it was clear, I'm sure you would see for miles. Oh, look at these, look. Wow. <laughs> look at them they're posh we was told that it's very very windy and i've got a wind cover on the gopro it's lucky i have look there's another one of them little domes there let's have a look up here far oh, out wow. and it ain't warm either so just up on the rocks that are behind the pub. I'll show you the views the best I can. 360 degree views. It's not necessarily warm either. Super windy. If you can see down here where the sheep are I just walked past, there's Pearl parked up there, safely in the car park. I don't know how they got that bus up here. <laughs> Wouldn't have a clue. That's the pub. Wow. Another little find Angela comes up trumps with. We was on our way down, and because uh, it's kind of three, three hours plus on the motorway, we're saying, oh, should have we gone the other way down south past uh, Newcastle and we was kind of discussing it and Angela was saying maybe uh, she should have booked a campsite over there ready for us to go down to Sandringham in Norfolk uh, anyway nah <laughs> no way um, <laughs> a bit airy up and down the hills coming in you saw the view on the camera they've the streams, the rivers running through. I'm pleased we've come here now. I'm looking forward to eating in the pub later. Trying one of their cheeky owls, hopefully. And uh, yeah, having a having a good rest of the afternoon and the evening. This one's on a look. He's on his way to munch our camper van. What are you doing? A bit worse for wear. I need air cut, I think. Let's go and see what Angela's up to. There she is. Oh, 
she's making herself look nice. <laughs> she's not. She's changing her trousers. What's she changing? I'll tell you what. It's cold up here, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Back to normal. It's about yeah. eight, eight degrees, I reckon. Well, the wind's cold. I was just saying to everyone that we thought about going somewhere else, didn't we, on the way, and then yeah. pleased now, aren't we? Yeah. Wow, look at that view with that them sheep running around over there. Lovely, isn't it? Yeah. Due to copyright laws and music in the background, we are doing voiceover for the next few minutes. So, in this clip, we are just discussing about being in the highest pub in the British Isles, which is what the sign states outside. Wayne actually said, it just means England, UK. And I was di disputing this fact and saying, no, it actually means Scotland, Wales, Northern Ireland, and all the islands surrounding, such as Orkneys and the Hebrides. Um, after Googling it, I'd love to say I am right. Right, so we have ordered two starters and two mains, and the mains we've ordered is steak and ale pie. We're also saying that in the pub, everyone and the staff are very friendly, and the pub is very warm and cosy. So let's pan round and show you what we're looking at. Wayne is saying there's a lovely open fire just over there, and the bar, which obviously you buy your drinks from, and then as we pan round and we see another open door in the distance with a fire, you can walk through as a, with another seating area and another large area like in a barn. There are lots of cosy areas within this pub and the barn also has a fire too. We was offered to go and eat our dinner in there but we decided to go in there later so that Wayne could watch the football in there. In the barn, they also have many music events, bands, etc., which is well worth looking up if you ever come in here. So our starters have now arrived, and I have ordered onion barges, which was a starter with lime, and Wayne has ordered the duck pate. So here it is now for you to see. This gives you an idea of what the food will look like when it comes up and also a drop of red wine. So here is Wayne's steak pie veg and a pot of gravy. We did order two, but the poor young lad, the waiter, um, only wrote one on the order and not two dinners. So I decided to wait for mine because I was quite full up from the starters and was happy to have a breather. So I let Wayne go ahead and I was waiting for mine. We didn't want to make a fuss because the poor young lad was new, bless him. Okay, our final day. Heading down to Sandringham today. Woke up this morning in the camper van. Uh, it's nice, no rain. It's still a little bit cloudy. But the views are awesome. There the, there the views from the motor home this morning. Now I'm gonna have another little walk up onto these rocks. Hey, windy up here. We wonder where the rams were this morning. Look, hiding around this side. As you come up on this hill, it becomes like super windy. So where we are with the vans around the other side of the pub, the pub obviously really shelters the vans on that elevation. I don't know whether the wind spins round. Could well be the case that it spins round and then it's really windy around the other side. So can't guarantee you're gonna be away from the wind if you come up. But that's the beauty of the surprise. So yeah, awesome views you can see for miles this morning. And there we are down in the car park there. Protected from the wind by the pub. 
had a nice meal in the pub last night football was on they had a big screen they got like a um i don't know call it a barn it's an area there's a nice big fire in there barney area that I was saying about with big screen uh there's stage in there that's where they have their uh, bands they have some really famous bands here angela's probably spoke about it on the video um yeah some really really good bands up here uh you saw the bus that ferries people to the local town i believe up and down uh yeah it's a nice little place up here goodbye town hill inn front of the pub. This is their outside eating area.
Right, we've driven uh, through the lanes from the highest pub all the way down the hills, uh, about 20 minutes, I suppose. A little uh, village called Reef, I think. Looks lovely, yeah, doesn't it? Yeah, looks lovely. We're just looking at the locals, what they've put, well, the local council or oh. committee or whatever. Oh. oh, I see. No overnight camping, so they don't want you camping on the green. I don't know whether that means to pull your camper van up. Lovely little village. Um, you've got a little tea room there, uh, bed and breakfast. And you've got all these buildings all the way around the green. Another hotel, the Buck Hotel at the top there. Gift shop, the King's Harm, Arms Hotel, the Black Ball Hotel. There's a little post office in it. Yeah. Ice cream parlour down there, the local church. This is stunning. I'd guess this was uh, a major stop years ago with all of these hotels and inns that they would have been called. I'd guess that it was a major stop for the uh, people travelling with horse drawn vehicles. The tea room comes up Trump. We're going to head off now to Richmond. Hop into Richmond on our way to Sandringham, which is our last stop of the journey. Smallest post office ever. Just um, come through, a, well, it's going to call it a little village then, uh, a village called Richmond, about 20 minute drive from where we just was in the small village and tea rooms. Um, looks lovely here as well, it's a lot bigger. I'll show you if I go up to this monument and I'm going to show you around. So we're quite elevated here by the looks of things. It's a really old, really old village establishment going way back. Looks like there's a castle building over the back there. We're not going to stay here long. Uh, to be honest, we've popped in to uh, return something to the mountain warehouse uh, while we're heading through this way. Um, yeah, and then we're going to continue our journey down to uh, Sandringham. Probably have another little stop off in a while. It's quite a drive today. So uh, yeah, we'll see what else we can discover. Right, so we're just arriving at our very last destination before we head home tomorrow. This is Sandringham. It's the, I think it's the Camping and Caravan Club, but the sign will be coming up in a minute, so I'll confirm that with you. Um, never been on the estate. Um, this is the Sandringham estate. Looks very green, very nice. Notice that um, Norfolk is quite flat, obviously, compared to 
post dinner in the um, motorhome tonight. Football's on, might even get a walk. We are finally at Sandringham. Epic, epic one that was. Big, big, uh, big drive from North Yorkshire. You see where we was at the highest pub. We had a little detour, a small village, went into the tea rooms. Uh, popped something back to a mountain warehouse in the next town on. Can't even remember the name of that now. Um, and then just kept going all the way down to Norfolk. Uh, I think the journey, well we set off at half past ten, say we had a couple of stops, we got here about quarter to five. Popped into Sainsbury's to get some dinner. Uh, this site, this Sandringham site, you come into the estate, it's spotless. It's two sites, Camping and Caravanning Club, Caravan and Motorhome Club. The Caravan and Motorhome Club is the one that I said, uh, they're a bit like a car park, all laid out, all the same. They're a bit like Lidl's, you go in Lidl's, they're all exactly the same size, laid out exactly the same way, don't matter where you are in the world. That's the Caravan and Motorhome Club. We are the, in the Camping and Caravanning uh, Club site. This place is awesome. It has got to be the biggest site in the world. <laughs> all joking aside, there are units, there must be thousands here. I'll show you around briefly. Uh, that is one toilet block, one of, I don't know, there must be half a dozen in here. Uh, the setting is absolutely glorious. So you can see you're more or less camping in the woods, really. There's an open bit in the middle on this particular field. Now, we're parked over there. We haven't got a hard standing pitch. Um, Angela opted for a grass pitch. Just looking into the wooded area there. Another part of the estate. Uh, us personally, we like the grass pitches. You don't want to be on them in the winter. In the summer where they're not too boggy. Um, it's nice, nice to have some grass around you, especially if you're pulling the chair out of a night and you know, you're getting the opportunity to sit there, have a relax. Uh, yeah, you're on the lawn as opposed to on the stones. We also find that with the stones, we're picking them up all the time. So you're on a hard pitch, them little stones get wedged into your shoes, you're into the motor home, and you're forever looking down saying, I mean, you can make your own beach after a couple of days, I reckon. There's, there's, we're always throwing them out the door back onto the floor. Uh, so we do like the grass pitches. Recommend this site, friendly. They are the friendliest people you'll ever meet when you turn up at these um, carav camping and caravanning club sites. Um, yeah, over the moon. There's the chef. How are you getting on, chef? Cheating roast potatoes. Cheating. Cooked up. chicken and a bag of veg. And we're done. I do, wasn't it? Just a little dinner, darling. Look at that. There we go. <whistles> Tuck in. That'll do for tonight, wouldn't it? Yeah. So we're all rocked up, all nice and comfortable. It's a view from out the window. It's a busy site. There's a lot of um, units on here. And there, there's Loads. quite a few units on here, mm -hmm. but it doesn't feel like a busy site. No, it doesn't actually. They make sure, I was saying on the video earlier on, how we really prefer the caravan and camping sites mm -hmm. and the pitches. They actually, the, you, you people that have camped on them, you'll know anyway, they pace six metres between each <laughs> unit and they're pretty strict. So they will physically get off their bike when they've parked you up. Well, the warden did with us. They used to do that years ago. Yeah, remember? but whether they... I've been on one or two sites where they don't do it. Yeah. So you do have a little bit of room. Yeah, it's quite nice. And it's really peaceful here. There's no hustle bustle. No, look, can you see right through Nothing the woods? Look, look on. back onto. Yeah, look, right the through the woods there. There's our little graveyard on in the front of the van. Our chairs and everything we put in there. And there's the woods. Yeah. You can see the woods that way. Should I show you that way? Yeah, through there as well. Look, that is. Look, right through there, you can see the woods. Yeah. It's 
nice actually. I'll tell you what, look at their mow wheels behind that. Look at that. Can you see their mow wheels through that gap? Oh yeah. God, all around that tent. Imagine in the middle of the night, they start <laughs> burying up. Or burrowing up, or whatever you call it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's nice. So this is us on our way out from the Sandringham site. It's a really big site. Toilets and shovel blocks are standard for the uh, caravan and camping club. They're all pretty clean. You can just rely on it being clean. It wasn't really worth us showing you the showers and toilets because if you've been on one, you'll understand that they're all basically the same. Uh, we might have shown you on a previous video of one there. Um, we are ending it today. So we're going to end these videos here. So I want to say bye and thanks for watching. And don't forget to subscribe and like and give us a thumbs up. Give us a comment and we'll answer any of your questions um, as soon as we can. It might not be straight away, but I will keep looking over it to make sure that we answer all the questions. Right, so it's goodbye for now. We'll get last drive out of the way. Sandringham is a lovely site. Certainly come back here one day. Uh, I'm just going to get rid of all of our waste, etc. and head home. So you want to say bye? Bye. See you later. Bye.